They say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch or the Khalifa himself. I am neither, so this could be interesting. What beautiful homes! Far different from the slums of Anbar. Save my backside too many times to come. Cast your gaze, Enkidu. Let us hope she is home. You will not bar me from my guests. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. Not interested. Go! Not now. The Postal Bureau. 
I will do as the Huyun do, sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Back. You may not enter this house. Now to find Aribs. Silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Abu Abdullah is the true Khalifa and will soon reclaim his stolen throne. I will leave this one for the Uyun. <laughs> Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yalakarof. Please note that your payment of 15 dinars is overdue and must be... No. After the honey drips from her lips, a Thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. I will go to the garden, give Athala her letter, and follow where she goes.
حیوان بس کن خانواده هم برای جشن کرد او راهین و علا تفاند Don't be shy. I rarely bite, and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone. How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. That's right, boss. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalan to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. Don't let the shortcut catch you, Atif. Go, quickly. The guards will be ever vigilant. the fox flee. Yet another painted mouse. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. You should bring him before the Mazalim court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. 
I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricture or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And a poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Falab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Harib herself, but an admirer. 